This is what a typical dashboard screen looks like when you first log into the system. On the left you'll see a lot of different options. Posts is for uh, blogging posts. Media is for uh, all the photo files and PDFs and videos, audio, etc. that goes in the media library. Pages, your site is made up of mainly pages. Uh, so if I click on all pages, these are all the pages on Higginbotham Homes website. Uh, there's the About Us page, Contact Us, the Home page, New Home Gallery, Privacy Policies, Remodel Gallery, Sample Page, etc. If you notice when I highlight over this there's multiple ways that you can uh, edit this page. The normal WordPress editing is clicking here. Don't do that. Always want to go through the WP Easy Editor interface. In fact, let's do that now. I'm going to click on WP Easy Editor this is just a draft page and what I wanted to show you here is here's a typical situation where we've got the header image up here the footer image is down here and then in the middle area is the content area where you'll be able to add content um, insert templates etc in fact let's talk about templates I'm gonna go right up here right hand side click on templates and there are different types of templates. You've got landing page templates, uh, which looks like this. And think of these as just as starter templates, if you will. And you can scroll down here, see the one that you like, click on an appropriate template as an example. Let's say we go ahead with this one here. That will insert all of that. And as you'll notice, different items get highlighted with this blue box as we're going down the page. So if I wanted to change, let's get down to business, I click on that. I could also click on that little wrench there. Look over here on the general tab. Let's get down to business now or never. And if you're happy with that change, just hit save. And if you notice, this is already updated over here. Now, it's not live on your website until you click Done and Publish. But you can just go through here. Here's another text line. Building your WordPress site. So building your website. Delete. Has never been easier with themes from Fastline Media. Uh, let's just change that to web904.com. Put an exclamation mark there. And just like... I mean, look at this environment right now. This happens to be a text editor module. And you can see that we've told it to be centered on the page. Um, but there's your normal bold, italic, bullets, numbered bullets, quotation marks. If I wanted to create a link, then basically I could say, I want to take this guy here, click the link button, type in www.web904.com. Whenever you type in a link like this, you must always hit the blue to apply that link to that area. Now if I hit save, you come over here and let's just as an example, let's just say we go done and publish. Now when I click on this web904.com it's going to load up our website and take us right to that page just like we told it to. So it's very very simple to add links and to make changes. So let's go back into this area. Now we've already done started some publishing on this site and that's a template that's already been in here. Let me show you some other neat things up here. When your page is loaded like this, and by the way, if we go to the dashboard, I mentioned there was one way to get at your pages, which was through this button here. But oftentimes, all I do when I come onto a website, I'll come right up here to the top header, I click Visit Site, I navigate to the page that I want to change, so as an example, Services. And if I wanted to start editing this page, I would just click this WP Easy Editor and then click on the name of that page, which is Services. You can also see you can actually edit the header area or the footer. The header is this area up here. The footer is the bottom area of your website, which is down here. Those two elements are your footer. Um, so if I wanted to do that, I can go into Services. Um, but let's do this. Let's go back to that page we were working on earlier just by clicking on the dashboard, go back to pages, all pages. This doesn't have a title on it, but it was the one that we were working on first. So let's add a title to that page. I'm clicking on this edit just to put the title bar up here, and we're going to call this one 
Mark's training page for WP Easy Editor. And so all I want to do, and basically we would want this permalink to follow that same methodology. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click Edit, Control V. And if you notice, we don't want to have this funny character. And come over here. We don't want spaces in here at all. So I'm just replacing those with dashes. Normally this is all done automatically, but since we started working on this post and it, page and it was in draft mode, um, I'm just cleaning this up a bit and showing you a little bit of logic behind this. And now that I've taken all those spaces out, I just hit OK. And I will update this. And that will force that into that particular area. So now if I launch the WP Easy Editor from here, we'll go back and see that page that we were just working on earlier. Remember we dropped in this template from over here. So I'm in this mode still, but I'm going to show you a couple other shortcuts. Um, I'm going to click up here. If you notice at the very top we've got modules, and modules are just simply elements that you can insert on a page. So if I wanted to insert a button, I would just left click on that. I would drag it to wherever I want that button to appear. I let go of the mouse. Now the button module comes up here. Click here on this button. Um, if I wanted to put an icon in front of that, I can absolutely do that. So I'm selecting an icon. Let's just say that's the icon that I want to use. Um, icon position, that's before the text. Um, icon visibility, it's always visible. Do I want that button to link to a special place like https colon pipe pipe mktgcrm.com another one of our websites and I want it to open a new window and my ruling here is if you are taking somebody off of your site to another website or another place on the internet always open those up in a new window and that way when uh, they click on it your website is still standing the style the style is all about uh, the button itself. So these are all related to the button module. If I wanted to center that um, and text color, let's make the text color. Let's see if I've got any color presets. Yeah, I've got a nice color preset there. So see how that text came in like that. And then maybe I want to come up here and change the background so the background color I can make that let's make it like that let's see what other presets that we have let's make it a, a very light gray and now when I hit save boom Remember, always go through the WP Easy Editor page. A couple other things that I wanted to show you is this is one big row, and inside this row, this is a heading tag. There's three. There's a three-column row, and how do you get rows in? So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to click on Rows, and let's say I want to put a four-column row right between those two elements. So you see how that blue is right there, and we're going to pretend we're going to add. We're going to turn these three into four. So I'm going to just left click down on that move symbol. I'm bringing that one over there. I'm going to left click down on that move symbol, drop it into that box. I'm going to left click down on that move symbol, I'm going to drop it into this box. And a very quick shortcut that you'll find throughout the whole system is you see this guy right here. That's a duplicate button. 
click on that that will give me a duplicate of that particular module come over here I'm going to drag it into the fourth position now what I want to do is obviously change the photo so I'm going to click on that back to the general tab see it says get in touch change that to just touch here's the little text that relates to this text down over here um, the image is right here I'm going to remove that image and now it's asking me to select a photo come right here I'm clicking down the select photo Remember I talked about the media library which holds all of your images on the file. And let's just pretend that this is the one, since this is a builder site, we're going to click on that one there. And I'm going to hit select photo. Sometimes you'll have options to put certain sizes on there. I'm going to hit save. And now we've got four areas here. And I'm going to get rid of these blank columns from that other third just by clicking on the X, clicking on the X, clicking on the X. But just to show you how handy this really is, I, again, I mentioned using that duplicate button. If I duplicate at the row level, which is what notice how everything is highlighted there I click on that now I have an exact copy of that one and this one so I could come down to my second occurrence let's get rid of this let's get rid of the blank row setting come down here I'm gonna get rid of this that's just a little separator I'm gonna get rid of this going to get rid of that blank area. Now I can come over here and I can click done and publish. I'm going to go back into WP Easy Editor picking on the same page. I'm going to go over some of the other options over here. Click up here. I'm going to click on templates again. We talked about different landing pages. Um, let's change that to content pages. Maybe you wanted to have an about us type section where you're talking about and having pictures and profiles of your company itself. I'm going to select this guy right here. In fact, let's do this one just to be simple. It says, oh, wait a second, you've already got a template out there. Do I want to replace the existing template or do I want to append it? If I append it, like I just clicked on there, this new template is going to come in at the very bottom of what was there already. If I were to hit replace template, in fact we'll do that now, templates, landing pages, let's come over here, let's just say that's the new template, let's replace the existing layout. It says, wait a second, you're going to wipe everything out? Yep, I'm going to wipe everything out and put a new template in. And this new template comes in and all of the other changes that we did are no longer in effect. So let's just say for grins right now we want to do this and I'm just going to click done and publish. And you go, oh my goodness, uh, what's going to happen now? Ah, oh, I need to go back to that old page. So I'm going to click on WP Easy Editor, Mark's training page again. Over here is an area, when I click that down area, you will see revisions. So I'm clicking on revisions. And this can go back months, if not years. If we go back, so these are the choices of my revisions being your most recent to this one. So if I pick this one, which was our most recent change before that, it's going to come up and show this to me. And it's saying, it's giving you a chance up here. Do you want to bring that one in? And if I click apply, now we've worked our way back to the earlier version, which happens to be that. Then I can click done and publish. It's a very, very simple system to use, as you're about to find out. Let's go do some more editing. Mark's training page, WP Easy Editor. Click plus. Let's bring in some rows. Now remember, you can have up to six columns on a given row. Let's bring in a two-column row. So I'm just going to drag that out 
and wherever I drop it is where that two column row is going to appear. Then at that given stage is what's going to go in that row. Typically in a row you're going to have a photo so I'll grab this and drop it over here. Here comes the photo module so everything on this module is all about photos. It wants me to select a photo Grab, let's do this one this time. Select photo. Let me remove that real quick. That's too big. And I'll hit save. And then over here, let's put a text block. Come over here. Here's a text editor. I grab the text editor. I drop it to where I want to have it. And right here we just start start typing away. I can highlight this text. I can tell it to perform heading ones. So that would be a very big just start typing away. And then let's change this guy to an H2 tag. And if you'll notice, I'm going to hit save. That text is slightly smaller than this text. If I want to keep editing, I just click on that box. Normal text will come in with just basically a paragraph tag or pre-formatted. And from here we can click the bold, the italic. If we want to turn it into a bulleted list we can do that. Notice that's changed over there. So you can see it over here. two, number three, etc. I can hit save. And if that's all I wanted to have done, I can do that. If I wanted to remember this duplicate mode, if I wanted to have another row behind it, I will oftentimes do that. Put this guy here. And then I'll move this guy over here. And now we've got a little situation where they're nice back and forth. Let's come over here. Let's change that photo out. Click Edit. I've got a differing photo. Now I can update this text to match this photo. If I'm done, I click Done and publish. A couple of things I wanted to point out to you. Mark's training page. There's a search function here. Uh, one thing that this system does extremely well, uh, and if you can see down here there is a gallery option, but there are multiple gallery options. So if I type in gallery, I've got a filterable gallery, an image photo gallery, a video gallery, I've got photo galleries, video galleries, so there's more than just one gallery. So that search box can come in very, very handy. Um, let's just, for right now, let's just grab this gallery and let's pretend we're going to put a photo gallery right there. Photo galleries are an absolute piece of cake. Uh, you want to add your photos. So I'm going to come through here. I'm going to grab this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, let's grab that one. So now we click the Add to Gallery button. We'll get a preview here. So if I wanted this guy to lead off, I just drag him here. This guy I might want at the end. When I'm happy with this, or if I want to delete one, I can just hit the Delete. If I'm happy with that, then I just click Update Gallery. Save. And now
now we've got a really nice gallery if I click done publish when I click on one of these it gives me the nice light box area it's very easy whether you're on mobile desktop whatever the case may be for someone to go through those gallery of images very very powerful very very easy let's go back into training page boom what else would you like to see? So I'm going to click this guy up here. Um, buttons, we went over videos. Um, there's a couple different ways to do videos. What I'm going to do is, easiest way for me is to do a YouTube embed. So I'm going to go to youtube.com. Help if I'd spell it right. And once you're there, let's say that this is, a, well, we're doing con a construction site, so let's do home remodeling. Searching on that. Epic Kitchen Remodel. So this is a neat idea. So let's pretend we want to put this video on the website. All you have to do is click on the video just to get it started. All we're trying to do, so as soon as it loads up, Hit the pause button. Oh, let's get past the ad. This is my $200 million YouTube ad strategy PDF, where I cover my... In this... So I'm just going to hit the pause, and down here you'll see share. I click on the share link, and what we want to do is we want to embed that video. Now, obviously, if I wanted to send a link to somebody, it's right there, but I want to embed that video, so I click on the embed code, Click on this word copy. Come back over here to the training page. And the way you embed a video is you grab an HTML element. Let me just get rid of this light box here real quick. And then you just paste it into an HTML element. If you want to adjust the width or the height, it's right there. So a typical website is 1,200 pixels wide for us. So let's say that we want that video to be 900 wide and 615 tall. You can play with that any way you want. I'm going to hit Save. And there's that big video. I can click Done and Publish. Now that video is live above the gallery and we've inserted quite a few different modules at this given point. Another nice thing that this does is I'm going to go into my training page again. Let's say you've got a killer page. Obviously this is not a killer page. But let's say this is a page that we might want to follow this exact look and feel on other pages. Right over here in this special area you can come down here and save template. So I'm going to call here, and I'm going to call this one Mark's Test Template. And in this particular example, we're saving the whole page as a template. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to click Publish. Now up here, and I'm going to create a brand new page. So I'll come up here, New, Page. And I could go back to Dashboard, Pages, Add New, but I'm going to go New, Page. And whenever you start up a new page, you name the page Mark's New Test Page. And go through the WP Easy Editor. This is the WordPress editor. Always go through WP Easy Editor. Or sometimes it says Page Builder. So I'm going through the WP Easy Editor, bringing up this page. Remember, the header and the footer come in automatically. Now I'm going to go over here to Saved. Templates, hold on. Templates. Saved templates, because remember it's a page template. Come down here, Mark's test template, the one we just saved. And bada bing, bada boom. There's your test template that we just saved. The entire page. The other thing that's cool about templates and, and saving is let's pretend, as an example, that we love this particular row for whatever reasons. So I'm going to go into this row. I'm going to go into the settings, the row settings. See how it encircles everything. 
I'm going to go into row settings, click on the wrench, and you see a button at the bottom called Save As. So we're going to save this row, Save As, and just like the other, we're going to do this Marks Magical Row Sample. Now at this time, if you notice, there's an option down here to make it a global row. So let's talk about global rows. I'm going to make this a global row. This comes in so handy. If you have a global row, let's say that I, this particular row that we're saving right now, I'm going to insert that on multiple pages throughout the site. So I'm going to hit Save. And if you notice, a saved row is bordered by this orangish color, whereas all the other rows are bordered by the blue color. So that's your indicator that it's a saved row. So I'm going to click Done, Publish. Now I'm going to go back into WP Easy Editor. Boom. I'm going to go down the page. I'm going to click on the little plus sign to give me my options. Now here's Saved. Mark's Magic Row Sample. So that's the mag Magic Row Sample that we saved earlier. And I'm going to go and place it right down here at the bottom before the footer. And I'm also going to come in here, and I'm going to edit that particular row. Remember, it's a saved row, so I'm just clicking on this text tag. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it easy. I'm going to duplicate that text tag, and I'm going to duplicate that photo. And I'm going to swap this photo out. I'm going to select another photo, and let's say we're going to use this photo, select photo, I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to click done and publish. Alright, so now we're back to the original page we were just working on, right? Let's scroll to the top of the page. I'm going to click Done and Publish. And because it was a global row, it updated everywhere. That's the beauty of a global row. really handy if you've got uh, like a donate button across multiple pages of your site or a contact us form whatever I'm gonna grab this here I'm gonna put it there and then over here I'm gonna edit that section and I'm going to I'm going to remove that so now we got one picture and two blurbs of text. I'm going to click Done and Publish. One picture, two blurbs of text. I click Done and Publish.